Hello there, my name is Mark, and uh, welcome to a video where I show you how to easily transfer your mini DV footage to your Apple computer. And the good news is you might already have the software installed on your computer to capture the footage. The bad news is you might need the appropriate hardware to complete the circuits. And the hardware is inexpensive, so not to worry. This is my Panasonic DVX100A mini DV camera from circa 2002. Great camera for its time, but almost completely obsolete today. Now the footage it captured, however, may still be relevant. So this is what you'll need to resurrect that footage. Of course, you'll need a working mini DV camera that will act as your play deck from which to capture your footage. A DV to Firewire 800 cable, this is the DV to Firewire 400 cable, so I'm using an additional Firewire 400 to 800 adapter to gain the needed functionality. Unless your computer has a Firewire 800 port, then this will need to be converted to Thunderbolt 2, which this Apple Firewire 800 to Thunderbolt adapter does quite easily. Now, if you're on an older Mac system, this could be the end of the line for you in terms of adapters, but I'm on a newer Mac system with Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C, so I need one more adapter. And I'm using the Apple Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt 3. Now, this is the end of the line for most modern Macs. This whole chain will allow the camera to properly communicate with the computer, and links to everything mentioned are in the description box down below. First, plug in the DV end of your DV to Firewire cable into the DV port on your camera. Connect the Firewire end of the cable to the Apple Firewire to Thunderbolt adapter. Then connect the Apple Thunderbolt to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. Finally, plug the Thunderbolt 3 into your computer. Power the camera on and put it into VCR mode, and you're ready to capture. Now, let's set up the software. Now first up, open QuickTime Player. Yes, you can do this using QuickTime. Now when in QuickTime, go to File, New Movie Recording. Now a window will pop up like this, and it will likely default to your computer camera, so we'll want to switch sources for that. Click to go into that, and your camera should come up as an optional input. Now here you can see the DVX100A, which is the connected camera. Now do the same thing for the audio, but in most cases, the audio will auto-populate when you select the connected camera. Next, click on record quality and set to maximum. Cue up your tape and hit play on the camera. If everything is connected properly, you should see the video playing on the computer screen. Now to start recording, simply press the record button. When recording, you'll see the drive space the video is occupying tally right here. Now remember, when capturing tape, you'll have to do it in real time. So if your tape is an hour long, it will take an hour to record if you want to capture the whole thing. When you're ready to stop recording, simply click on the record button a second time. When the recording stopped, you'll be able to play the file back, and as you play it back, you should be able to hear the audio through your computer speakers. Now to save the file, go to File, Export As, and because this is an SD format, only the 480 option will be highlighted. Now choose your save location and hit save. Your video is now successfully captured. You'll have to repeat this process depending on how you want to capture the tape. Now, I personally like working with shorter clips versus doing the entire tape all at once. So if I have a 60 minute tape, I'll record in six 10 minute intervals. But once your tapes are captured, well, it's up to you where you want to go from here. Hopefully this has been helpful. Any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond to everyone. Thanks as all for watching. Subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you next time. Well, I guess that's a wrap on the 100. How's the mini DV doing over there? How's the footage looking? It's looking all right. Right over there behind the scenes. HD, mini DV. HD, mini DV. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great.